Some breaking news into us here with Elon Musk in just the last hour or so sending a very direct message to at least one of the advertisers boycotting his platform X, formerly known as Twitter, because of anti-Semitic posts he amplified there. Listen. If, if somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f yourself. In the past few weeks, big advertisers like Disney, Apple, others stopped putting ads on X because Musk platformed these anti-Semitic tweets. That was obviously a monetary problem for X. I want to bring in Investopedia editor and chief Caleb Silver. And this is so interesting because this is one of the first times that Musk has very directly taken on this issue that has built and built over the last several weeks about these advertisers, these big companies, these big corporations saying, wait a second, I don't want my content next to this anti-Semitic stuff that Musk has allowed to be on the platform. Yeah, and if you listen to the entire quote from that, in, that deal book interview, he said that several times, go after yourself several times, and then he said, hi, Bob. We can only assume he was talking to Bob Iger. Bob the Iger, head of Disney. The right. head of Disney, which was one of the big advertisers that pulled. But you mentioned other advertisers. We're talking about some of the biggest advertisers out there, including Comcast, the parent company of this network, Warner Brothers, Apple, Coca-Cola, others have pulled their ads. And he also said in that interview with Andrew Ross Sorkin, I wish they would stop. I wish they would stop advertising and then he dropped the F-bomb. So clearly putting his finger in the eye of the people that pay the bills to run X, which is an advertising delivery mechanism, or was until he bought it, and now we don't know really what he's trying to do with it. He also addressed, um, and, and I think it was an apology. Let's call it, let's call it that, although let's see it. We're going to play that sound in a second. He addressed that post that created so much of the concern here, a lot of the uproar, in which he agreed with an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. I want to play what he said so we can hear it all together specifically. Listen. I'm sorry for that, that, that tweet or post. It was foolish of me. Of the 30,000, it might be literally the worst and dumbest tweet, post that I've ever done. The worst and dumbest post I've ever done. That is fascinating because Elon Musk is not somebody who is often known for the walk back, Caleb. Fair? Absolutely not. And he was also just in Israel, but he did tell Andrew Ross Sorkin at the Deal Book Conference that it was not an apology tour why he went over there to speak to uh, President Netanyahu, even though it happened right after all of this happened. So he's in a weird place. He also said in his tweets that he's not an anti-Semite. He's a philo-Semite. I had to look that one up. That's an admirer of Jews. So this, he was kind of off the handle today at this conference, talking about it for the first time, but also saying clearly to his advertisers, I don't care, I don't need you, and saying he will... Uh, convince his followers and his fans to boycott the companies that are boycotting X. We'll see if that actually happens. Is that true? Can X survive without those advertisers? Not as an advertising delivery company, but he has slimmed the company way down. He bought it for $44 mm. billion. We have no idea what his plans are for X going forward. Caleb Silver, fascinating night there with that deal book summit. Many headlines coming out of that. Thank you for bringing it to us, developing tonight. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.